Okay, so welcome back. We're, we're looking at um, circumstances, our life, you know, society as we prepare for the 2019 election. I don't speak Igbo, but I, I, I think I learned one Igbo sentence. Uh, you pardon my accent. Uh, he who brings color brings life. So maybe this is what we're talking about here. That look, the, it is part of our culture. You can't the, come the, empty-handed. The color in that context is different too. Because eh? it's, <laughs> but, not, it's uh, not. It's not what you have known to be the Nigerian color. <laughs> I know. That's because, greasing because, of palms. Yeah. Well, I know. But still, you can see how it uh, it, it can be used. You know, it can be used. No, I understand. It's a even in Britain, in America, when you get to a they ask you, you care for anything. So I bring another. Okay, I brought this. In fact, you go to some parties in uh, Europe, in uh, Americas. You go with your Fancy. drinks. You go Cola with your drinks. has become synonymous with something else. That's nowadays. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Uh, that is different. That, it is okay. It, it is yes. different. Yes. Uh, it is our people they, who they, also say Ebi on one or me. Well, yes. that one is another Yoruba you know, one. Yoruba, Yoruba is a own particular tribe that I, I find difficult to really master because <laughs> they have a way of. Uh, they're getting a proper to suit any, any, any situation any, any whatsoever. Situation whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So they will defend with it. They can also prosecute with yes. it. Um, the, it. From Agege, coming in from Agege, good morning. Good morning, sir. Thank you very much for calling in. Uh, yeah, I want to contribute to the uh, topic you people are discussing. We'd like you to. All right. Uncle Yori, um, I believe that uh, the problem of Nigerian election cannot just be viewed from one point. Uh, the contribution everybody has been made in, making since those points are right. But I want to say something. And what I want to say is, this problem too can also be viewed from the, from the elite in Nigeria. Because I believe that uh, the elites in Nigeria, they don't come out to vote. Only these four people come out to vote. So the people who are enlightened, People who are supposed to be at the forefront of Nigerian politics, they actually don't come out to vote. So the people that are poor, that need this money that politicians distribute up, up and down, they are the ones who come out to vote. So until we began to educate the elite themselves, also to come out to vote. These are the people that understand Nigerian problem. These are the people that understand that uh, the, 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 the politicians are out just to deceive the masses. These people are enlightened. So they are supposed also to come out during the election. Mm. So that's my contribution. Well, thank you very much. Uh, okay. You're, you see, when we talk about elite, we are overrating ourselves. What is the percentage of elite to the masses? Not up to 1%. This is a country of about 200 million people. Can we really boast of Two million people that are above poverty level, others are struggling. So if the masses themselves decide to effect a change, mm -hmm. they can do it. If they have the willingness, the determination, the sincerity, and, and they're determined, they will surely get it done. Because whether they at least come out or not, I mean, what's the percentage? The poor masses are the people that... Really that's where put, the power, yes, the political power that's is. Yeah, that's the voting it, power is. That's why it's, it's a democracy. Let us not overrate ourselves as elites. Let us think about the masses and the design programs. Because the, the, leader, the lead stage said that, look, you have to be one of them to be mm -hmm. able to undo them. Mm -hmm. So even if you got in by giving money to these people, not, why can't you effect a change when you, so you can, you can change, you, It is from inside that you're going to be able to yeah, change Yes, you can only influence from within mm -hmm. and not from without. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the point I'm making, my submission is that even if you bribe your way to be there, or you perhaps you give money to the, these poor people and all the rest because yes. they needed it and all the rest. Mm. So when you now have that power, what stops you from effecting mm -hmm. mm. mindful, mm -hmm. it was the uh, uh, systematic uh, change that will be in the overall interest of the nation. Why do you have to continue with the status quo anti -Belum? You know, we were told that that was the kind of notion or idea that uh, the late MQ Abiola had, mm. you know, what, what, for whatever it was worth. That is what we were told. We actually don't know how he was one of them. Yes, he was one of them. But he promised that on getting there, that he was going to he was going to normalize things, bring about change. Yes. Indeed, uh, Mr. Debumi, thank you for holding on. Go ahead, please. Good morning, Uncle Yori. Good morning, sir. 
Good morning to the panelists in the house. God bless you. Thank you very much. Uh, if we look at the political situation in Nigeria, one might want to believe that we are in a fix, you know, as for money politics. Because people believe that every politician must do lot money before they can be voted for. But what is the case for this? It is because the politician knows that when he gets in there, uh, he will make far, far above what he's going to is spending or is going to spend. And that is why... He are you, are you, uh, sorry, sir. Invest. Sorry, sir. He will yes, make. Sir. He will make. Are you talking about the salary of the politician is so fantastic? Mm -hmm. When yes, you say he sir. will make... The salary is fantastic, right? All the remuneration are fantastic. But apart from that, in, we all know earnings. the facts, the other facts now. Invisible and earnings. The contract, the contract other facts of office. To go for one million naira, they will hmm. be awarded for hundred million, hmm. and there are no checks and balances. That is what, what we are talking about. These people know that when they get into office, they will make humongous amounts of money. So why don't we concentrate on how we can stop them from making this illegitimate money? Why don't we insist that uh, we must, you must have a transparent uh, code, of, code of conduct that we stipulate you giving us your access and we certify your access before you get into office. And by the time you are in office, maybe one year, you no, declare your access again openly. The bureau uh, check tells it to make sure that it is true. And when you now realize that there's no way you can make uh, illegitimate money when you get into office. Mm. You realize that not so many people will, will not also lose interest in contesting. Mm. It mm. is only those who are, who are desirous of taking the place of Nigeria that will want to go into politics. Yes. It is because they know that when they get there, they will get the. Who knows who, who will not want to invest 10 million yeah. and get 1 billion? Yeah. yeah. Who will not want to invest 1 billion and get 100 billion? That is exactly what we have in Nigeria today. All right. If we can think of with our judicial system mm. in a way that will prevent people who have made above their means yeah. from spending it, for, 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 from uh, losing it abroad, mm -hmm. then we naturally, these politicians will no longer want to spend money. It is only those who are desirous of transforming our life that will be seeking our food. That is the challenge we have in this country today. I wish we can think out that which has to said to to be more part corruption. The present one that we are facing is just to you know live with corruption. All right. Thank you very much for 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 calling in, Mr. Debemi. Let me let, 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 let me throw a theoretical uh, one at you. Theoretical for the sake of just consideration, and it's not going to happen anytime soon. What if we were to evolve as a society and come up with the notion that you know what, uh, anybody who is going to you know, go for elective office, uh, depending, shall be paid a nominal salary of 1,000 naira a month. What do you think would happen to the political system? That is to say, if you can't really afford to feed yourself, and if you're looking for anything in office, that's not, this is not the place to come. Right. Your salary is going to be 1,000 a month. This is the way the Nigerian system is. Do you think it would now, all these people that are doing everything necessary to come into office, and you're going to end up with 1,000 a month, 12,000 a year, which is saying that we know that you don't need any more public funds. You have succeeded in life. Mm. You are self-sufficient, and then you want to now serve. Mm. Come along, we shall pay you 1,000 a month. No, no, no. You don't think that can work? No, no, yeah, sorry, Mr. <laughs> with respect, you are wrong. Uh, even if you start paying 1,000 a month, I won't cut this anyway. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to create a society whereby the politicians are even in or no, they are living no, in an... No, 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 no. Impoverishment doesn't come into it. Okay, I take uh, your point, but... Look, uh, can it, I it, 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 it is said that American ambassadors, you know, uh, posted to all these other big countries, places, yes. you know, they are not paid a salary. That's they are not paid a salary. They what have they made doing? it in their own line of work. And so they are representing their country and are happy to do so. Yes. Apart from the career diplomats. Yes. But they, they, so I was looking see, at that principle. No, you need to look. It, see, it, it won't work very well uh, here. It, it's not. Because at the end of the day, I think you are looking at it in a very, from a narrow angle. Uh, you, what you they know, get, yes. you may not even, you, you may not, they may not be paid salary. 
But at the same time, the when you look point, at it in the, the round, point what they get is, is that more. These but people, that theoretical point. Trump, for instance, why? doesn't need the salary of an American president. He, he might take it, he might donate it, yes. but that's the point I'm making. You that self-made men see, that and women. Not, that is not democracy. You don't want to create a society where those who have made it in life mm -hmm. are the only people who will represent you. Because you need to, if I take your point, that they, they must show they've made it in life, they don't need the salary. But if you start doing that, I did you say are creating, it was theoretical. It's a theoretical mm. point. But what I'm saying is that it's not going to work. Because don't forget, you have you said want that, for instance, parliament. you will not be interested you want, anymore. If, if anybody came up with that if crazy I'm not notion. going to get paid. If you, no, you yes, will be paid a thousand a month because they what? know that it doesn't matter whether we don't pay you, your so, standard of living will not change. Look, what I'm saying to you is this. If you start paying 1,000 Naira a month, I won't come out because I can't live on 1,000 Naira a month. Wait, so that is one. Government's 1,000 Naira a month. I think maybe I should give, maybe I'm missing something here. <laughs> yeah, explore, this, explore this crazy theory <laughs> for me, Ojari. The theory can only work in a society where there's accountability, mm -hmm. probity, and where and the, the system takes care of you. Mm -hmm. You see, one, the present system we operate where there's no full disclosure. Even if you give them 1,000 Naira a month, they, they will still have opportunities of taking 50 million Naira a month. <laughs> <laughs> As a running yes. cost. <laughs> running cost and address. The salary they take now, uh, I mean, it's less than uh, 2 million. Yes. Mm -hmm. But they are, we have been told now that they still take about 15 million Naira every month as running yeah. costs and address. And that is outside the constituency projects. So we don't have full disclosure. We don't know what is going on there. Uh, some people took me up the other time. They said, like, look, I could find out uh, from their website how much they earn and all the rest. Yes. yes, the more you look, the less you see. Okay, so that crazy theory of mine is not going to fly. No, it, I, it, I was it going, can't I was work. Talk As about, a principle. I was going to talk of the type of system that can really work in this country. Yeah. Okay, yes. well, uh, let me come back to you so I don't have to interrupt you. David is on the line. Good morning, David. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Go ahead, please. Hello, good, morning. Good, good morning. Good morning. Go ahead, please. I want to contribute to what you are saying. Uh, like, I would not like to say that most of the politicians we have in this country, they don't have the interest of the country at hand. And most of them can do anything to get to power just for their own selfish interest. If they have the interest of the country at hand, when you get here, you won't even want to, 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 to split money so that you can get into this. Like one of my callers says, they know that when they spend this money, as soon as you are getting there, you are hitting it. So it is a thing of course, what we call uh, the work, what you see you need. So there is no one of them that would like to invest money and won't get it. But if there is a check and balance anyway, you declare your access, you know what you have before you get here. If you get to the position, you won't be able to steal our money. And by so doing, people will not like to queue for president or queue for political appointment. Mm. So, Mm. But so we can contain it. At least, if you get one, the Papa is the people that want to serve the nation. The yes. people that want to serve the interests of the people. They will be the people killed. They are not people that want to loot the treasure of the nation. But for as far as I'm concerned, mostly in Nigeria, is the people that want to loot the interests of the nation that will have killed for political appointment. All right, then. Um, well, thank you very much. Some of those ideas, we already we even have them in place. Mm. Unfortunately, we are told, allegedly, some people actually do a sort of prospective declaration mm -hmm. that, look, uh, I'm coming in now. I have only 10 naira mm. to my name. Mm. Uh, yeah, all things being of. equal, by the end of my voting call, uh, if you, you know, they now can, you know, I should have 2,000 naira to my name. And so they declare mm -hmm. 2,000 naira in anticipation mm -hmm. of the 1,900. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's, we, we're dealing with yeah. human beings. You, you want to oh, yes, tell me yes. about oh, yes. the society example, and how it can work. Yes, you see, democracy, there's no absolute democracy in any part of the world. We can modify our own democracy to suit our own purpose. For example, I don't see why we should have more than two or three political parties in this country. The only thing I would add is that let us have a provision for independent candidates. Okay, okay. Not when you have 60 something political parties, you don't really know which is which. We don't, we don't even know many of them. Mm -hmm. And that is one. Number two, can we have a situation where we have part time the legislators? Because All of this down to bring, to bring down the cost of governance. Apart from that, to make it less attractive 
Okay. Uh, those that will go there will be those that are really serious. They want to do something. They want to do Not something. Not those who they are. They want to leave a legacy. Professional politicians, they don't have any other thing to do in this world than to live mm. on the wealth of the people. Mm. They're going to suck. Mm. To be parasitic. Yes. Parasites. Yes. Okay. So, we those have kind that. of ideas. Then, again, can we make the center less attractive? These are the kind of things I'm talking about. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can we but make the center less attractive? Um, you know, you all see, of this is going to come, I, I, come I, I, via the National I, I, Assembly. I remember when our president, uh, before he got in there, he was saying that he was going to reduce the fleet of the presidential uh, aircraft. <laughs> but up to this moment, we, we still have 11, 12, 15 uh, aircraft. Yeah. For a country that's as poor as this country, mm. as Nigeria, a population of 200 million, we are exploding. Okay. Um, Divine in a papa, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Professor Chief Okuyori. <laughs> uh, Okuyori, I want to make a contribution this morning and uh, towards the issue of uh, 2019 election. You see, we have gone a long way in this country, and these people have deceived us a lot. I want to say that the issue of monitoring aspect of Nigeria electorate is something that we cannot do without. Because when they get into office, you will never see them again. So it's only during that time of election that they come to bribe you indirectly that I'm going to give you a bag of rice, it's matu or whatever. And that is the only time you will see them. So don't blame the, 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 the voters who collect those money because that is the only time you can see them. After that, you can never see them again. Even if you want to see them in the offices, you write a letter that cannot even be allowed. And so I want to say that this is one of the issues. But the truth of the matter is that Uncle Yori, until we change this, our constitution, until we make amends, until we, 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 we begin to say this is what we want in this country, okay. not imposing this uh, 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 constitution that was imposed in us, mm. until we change this, our constitution, that this is what this country wants, or to restructure this country, because you can see even the people in the government say they don't want to restructure because they know that it will not work in favor of them. Mm -hmm. So they want to remain in power. And the power they want to remain is because they know that, yes, they want to remain. And now this, the, the, the center of Tisa Abuja has failed. You know, they say if the center, the things are falling apart, the center can never hold. Okay. So the truth is that the, the, the center can never hold any longer. But we cannot wait to vote because we, I myself, I said it before, I made the die heart of Buhari before, I traveled all the way from Lagos to Ghana where I vote, where I made my, where I got my PVC, but of a truth. With what is happening now, I, I still believe that they are not doing anything. They don't have any interest of this, our country in our hands. All they right are all there for their own interest. Okay. I still remember my word that, look, we, we must change the change. Come 2019. All right. Because Thank you very much for calling in. Appreciate you, Divine. So in rounding off now, um, uh, well, Femi, you said that, um, well, in passing, that ah, if you bring uh, that my mad scheme, that my mad theoretical scheme, you bring that one on board, you are suddenly, you're not, you're not interested anymore. Yeah. So I understand, but you, 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 you want to serve, uh, but also you, 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 yes. you, you also you have, you also have an eye on the fact that you are, if you are successful, you're going to be the subject of life-changing income that no job that you are doing now could possibly, you know, be similar to. I mean, you're, you're going to amass hundreds of millions of naira in very, very short order. <laughs> it is a major attraction. You are not happy. So no, it's a major here. attraction. You are not, wait, wait, no, 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 wait, no, 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 no. I'm not putting words in his mouth. I'm telling him the what is the truth and the reality. Matters. I am not, but I'm saying, let us, <laughs> since we have said what we have said, let us who could speak the truth. All right. Well, I don't know the truth, the truth is <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, it is not life changing uh, uh, income, Jacob. Uh, 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 so, do, you know that, uh, do you know I will go into politics if my poor arrangement is possible? If I possible, I will go in. So, uh, this is the point I'm making that yes, people, uh, uh, that was, we, we just had a job, but uh, in rounding yes, up, uh, in rounding up uh, everybody, mm. you know, it's like everybody is in agreement both the candidate who is presenting himself and those people who are going to put him there through their votes know that your life is going to change once you arrive. Now you will not be able to tell us what you were telling us before going. No, 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 you can't say that anymore. We all know where you are. It's not in every case. It's not, it's in, not every in every case, case but, in, but, but what, from what the, mm -hmm. the whole committee is speaking about, they say you can't 
remove money from politics. <laughs> Is that not what the general no, but consensus? That's the, that's the no general consensus. Yes, but but my ridiculousness but was just no, a joke. No, 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 but mm. I, I take the joke and I enjoy the program. But the point is this, moving forward, we need politicians in who closing. are ready in closing, those who are ready to place politics of conviction. <laughs> And, of conviction. Yes, in the sense that because what is happening... If it is well adequately remunerated. Well, at the same time, remuneration will be part of it, but it's not the sole determinant. Okay. The only problem, the other thing is that the electorate too, they need to be less demanding of the politics. Because oh. by the time, you see, this is the problem. Oh. Oh. And oh. No, it's very important. And because if you become a senator yeah. and people are writing you letters that they want to do a fire burial ceremony, you, you must they want to get married, yes. you need to send money. At the end so of the day, how you going to say no uh, when these people are throwing money at you okay. at Abuja. Uh, I hope you can. I think, I think the important mm -hmm. thing is that we must, like Sister's wife, uh, live beyond reproach. Uh, you see, if you want to effect a change in this country, the change should start with us. Okay. And this country has no business not developing. It's just that our people are selfish and they, the electorate themselves, they, they are confused and they want to be, continue to be in poverty. That is why they keep on demanding from okay. Um, uh, thank you very much, gentlemen. We've run out of time. Uh, Mr. Femi Aino, I thank you very much <laughs> for your you. perspectives. You. I spoke about Ogun West Senatorial Aspirant. <laughs> we shall be <laughs> unfolding it as it comes along. <laughs> thank you. Chief Dr. Fasi Yusuf, that thank you, you very much. Meant to be a <laughs> 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 That's our program today. Please join us tomorrow for a fresh edition. I am Yori Folani. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>